Hey guys, it's LBS Honey, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own DIY LBS ball ball. So, here's my one that I made today. I think it looks gorgeous. And I'm going to show you all the items you need, all the steps you need to do to achieve this LBS ball ball, which you can hang on your tree in time for Christmas. So, let's get started. So now that we've had a look at the finished product, it's time to show you how I made my LPS bauble step by step. I've pulled out all the creative stops for this video, used all my brain power. So let me start by showing you the items you're going to need. Ta-da! Welcome to my little craft corner. I want to make it very, very clear before I start showing you all the items that you do not need to follow my design step by step. If you don't like a certain item that I use, you can always change it out for something you'd much more prefer. This is just what I used for my design. I used some PVA glue. You can pick this up anywhere. Very cheap. Doesn't matter what brand. A pencil for outlining and a texture for coloring. Some white cardboard. This is actually scrap cardboard, so you can really find it anywhere around your house. Or you can just go to a craft store and buy some white card. Some glitter. I actually bought a 24 pack for about $10 at Red Dot in Australia, which is about 8 US dollars. Highly recommend you kind of like, I guess, bulk buy glitter rather than just buying one color because it usually works out cheaper and it's always handy to have different colors. Some paper flowers. I've seen a lot of LPS tubers use these kind of flowers. I found them in a pack of five for $2 at a local $1 shop. So just check your like $1 stores, your 50 cent stores, your like craft stores. I'm sure a lot of places carry these types of flowers. I also used some holly. This is actually kind of like a whole roll of it that you roll out and cut to the size you need. You get a total of 2.7 meters. It was about $3 and I actually found it at my local like $1 store but it was near the present wrapping material with like wrapping paper and bows and ribbons a cotton ripple it's pretty much a big version of a cotton swab or cotton ball it comes in a long sheet and you just pull off the amount you need I always use this stuff for fake snow because it's so handy that it comes in sheet form Oh, and I found that at Woolworths for $3. This next item is super optional. You do not have to do this at all. I just thought it would look really nice inside the bauble. And that is making a small candle. All you need for this is two metal beads and some really tightly rolled paper. I'll show you how to assemble it a little later in the video. And lastly, the two most important items you're going to need are your bauble and your LPS. So, the LBS, of course, I already had. The most important thing when picking out your bowl is making sure that an LBS can fit inside. Please make sure they can fit before you get it. Maybe bring an LBS with you or just measure it with a ruler before you leave. Write it down and then when you're out, you can measure the bauble to make sure it's the correct size. As you can see, I can comfortably fit an LBS in here with quite a bit of room. So this is the perfect bauble for me. I got this bauble, as you can see here, decorate your own bauble at Kmart. It was $2. It comes exactly like this, minus the LPS. And I think it was a pretty good buy. It has these little clasps up here, which I'm not sure what exactly they're for. I think maybe if you had a light, you could like clip it in there. But I personally don't own any small lights like that. So we're just going to not use that for lights this time around. So now that you've seen all the crafting material you're going to need for this bauble, it's time to assemble. So let's just jump straight into it. I'm going to start off by doing the larger steps first, aka the messier steps, and then we'll move on to the fine details near the end. So I'm going to start off with the main event, the messiest event, oh my god, please work, the glitter. So I actually wasn't sure what color glitter I wanted to use. In the end, we decided on silver. Pretty much everyone I asked 
said silver would look the best, but the runners up were rose gold and regular gold. But we're going to go with silver. Hopefully it turns out. If it doesn't, um, I didn't pick it. So uh, for this step, I'm going to take my little bobble here. I've already removed the bottom and I'm going to put some glue on the inside. just to make it a bit easier and I'm going to spread all this glue around so we can put our glitter on top so here's what it looks like after I've kind of spread it around with the paintbrush this is a quick drying glue and it does dry clear which is perfect so I do need to work a little quick here but I'm going to open my glitter the best i might need to do this a few times to get like an even coat and just give it a little shake around to evenly distribute the glitter see how it looks bada bing oh okay that actually turned out really good it is coated in there so you may be thinking like girl I can't see it but don't worry this is of course like I said a clear drying glue bada bing bada boom and that's the reason why you want to use a clear drying glue if you just use white you won't be able to see the glitter so I'm gonna put this off to the side and let it dry and then we'll be able to see the glitter on the outside which is what we really want now everyone's ball ball is gonna be different you may be using a round ball ball or a star shaped ball ball I don't know personally I'm using this jar shaped one so I have a nice flat surface to work with and I've just emptied like most of the residue of the glitter out of this and we're going to take out cotton ripple as you can see it's pretty much the perfect size I don't really need to pull it that much if you do need to just lightly tug on it slightly and it expands because you know you don't want it to break apart but you want it to be slightly wider So here's our finished cutout and I think you guys can kind of see why I prefer this to cotton balls because it's layered. There's like layers of cotton in here which makes it a bit more sturdy, you know, like ogres. Onions have layers, cotton ripples have layers. When in doubt, just think of Shrek, okay? <laughs> so it's a pretty good fit as you can see. So what I'm gonna do is grab my PVA glue again and glue this bad boy down. There it is, the foundation of our ball ball. While this is also drying much like the glitter, I'm gonna put it off to the side and continue working on some of the smaller accessories that are going to be placed in and around our ball ball. So for this next part, this is the completely optional portion of the DIY. It's only because I had leftover items that I decided to go ahead and make a miniature candle for my LPS bauble. So like I said before, I'm going to be using two beads, a roll of paper, which is, oh my gosh, it's so incredibly hard to cut this stuff. So please be careful when you're cutting it. You may even need to use a knife. That may be better than scissors. Let's go. That was my sad attempt at Mario. I sounded like Mario having a mental breakdown. Like, let's go, <laughs> I guess.
Mission Impossible complete. It's probably not going to go anywhere, but just to be double safe, I am going to leave it to dry just for a little bit because there is a small chance that if I hit it wrong while it's drying, it may snap because super glue dries very quickly. Wham! Bam! Thank you, ma'am. Our next step is to make some miniature candy canes. So that's what the red's for. And the pencil I'm just using as an outline. It's always good to outline these things, especially when you're like me and you just <laughs> can't cut straight, apparently. So I'm gonna quickly draw some little candy canes and cut this out. Like I said, white cardboard is the best. This one's kind of yellow on one side, white on the other. It's literally just scrap paper, nothing special. But uh, yeah, maybe if you don't have white paper, you could always paint it white. In the end, I was left with these two. I think they're pretty decent and they will suffice for my ball ball. I think they look so much better now that they have their candy cane stripes and now that they're done it's time to move on to the final decorating parts of our ball ball that is the greenery possibly my favorite part of this whole DIY I just love adding a splash of green to stuff because it is my favorite color so let me show you what I have intended for our holly and our flowers. Now that our ball ball is pretty much dry along the top here, what I'm going to do is take a piece of this holly. I actually already cut this piece out and it turned out to be a pretty good size. Loop it around where the silver ends and then glue it at the back so it'll look something like this. So I've just glued it together on this end and I'm going to let it sit for just a little bit to make sure it's properly sticking together. My super glue is actually getting a little old so it's having a bit of trouble sticking things but hopefully it'll stay nice and together and then we'll attach it to our ball ball and go from there. Okay so let's try attaching this. So the plan is to just put it on the bottom and slide it down. Bada bing, bada boom. And then I just need to line it up with the glitter. And there we have it. I think this turned out really nice. It helps separate the glitter from the rest of the bauble. And of course, you can glue the whole piece of holly down so it doesn't move. But because it's so tight on the bauble, I'm not going to bother because I don't see it moving anywhere. Like, it's going to stay. But if you want an extra bit of security, feel free to glue it down. You can kind of see it. And the plan is I'm going to thread these flowers through that hole with the stem so we'll have some hanging flowers inside so this is all going to be about trying to line it up and bada bing bada boom as you can see pulls straight through so I need it to be about that height so I'm just going to bend the stem there and then later I will twirl them around the top
So I hope you can see a little bouquet of flowers in there. It actually turned out pretty good and I am going to loop these metal wires around this circle here just so they're not poking out everywhere. But because I thought it could use a little more, I ran and got three more flowers. I didn't have any more red, unfortunately, so I got two white, one purple. And I'm going to try and squeeze them in to make it look a bit more full because I feel like the more full it looks, the better it will look. So let's hope I can squeeze them in. Status report, I only managed to get one more flower in there, but it'll do. I'm going to curl these around the top now because it's kind of a safety hazard, all these little wire pieces sticking out everywhere. Flowers are secure. There's our little hanging bouquet. I've just tied them around the top here and of course you can still hang it up and you can always cut these as well but please make sure you do have enough still to tie it around so the flowers don't fall straight through every time. So the snow has now dried in our little bottom piece and the LBS I'm going to be using is this husky here holding our little candle that we made. So what I'm going to do is just place it in the middle for now just to get a feel of where I can put the candy canes because you do not want to glue the candy canes too close to the center. That way no LPS is going to be able to fit in the middle except maybe a mini LPS but we want the full deal. So I'm just going to place it there and then glue the candy canes either side at the back and front. So I'm just back at my regular filming spot while I do this part. But I'm thinking the first candy cane can be back here and the second candy cane can be kind of like side on this way. So I'm going to be using super glue. You can use PVA glue because it's literally just cardboard and cotton. It'll stick no problem. I'm just using super glue to make it go a little faster but please do be careful if you get PVA glue on your LPS that's no problem it's water based so you can just clean it up very quickly but if you use super glue and you get it on your LPS um GG because that is going to be a nightmare to try and get off so please do be careful no matter what glue you use really So I'm going to let them dry for a little bit, we'll put our LPS in, seal it up, and we're finished. The gluing has finished and I apologize for any background noise because I asked everyone politely, I was like, yo, could you just like keep it down for five minutes while I just like record this video and they were like, blah, 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 blah. no, so uh, excuse me, but <laughs> the candy canes are finally glued down. So it's time for the grand finale to put this bad boy together. I just realized the lights in my homes aren't on. Oh my god, this video is falling apart. It's a disaster. There we go. The Christmas mood's back. So let's put our LPS inside. Move the candy canes a little bit so she can squeeze on in. Move that to the back. This one to the side. And then... Eh, eh, eh. Okay, there she is, looking good. So now the moment of truth. Can we get the lid on safely? <gasps> it's looking good, we just need to tighten it up. Oh girl, I think the flowers may have hit her hat as I was tightening it up, so I'm gonna take it off again, rearrange the flowers a little, and then tighten it again. But everything else looks pretty good. Our candy canes are nicely inside. And everything else looks perfect, so if I can just rearrange those flowers and get her to stand up straight, we are golden. I think she looks pretty perfect. Everything fits. She's standing up as pretty as much as straight as she can get. If I took her hat off, she would definitely stand up straight. It's just that the flowers are slightly tipping the hat to the side. But besides that, it's perfect. She's got a candle in her hand. The candy canes have nicely stuck in place. So all that's left to do is hang this bad boy on the tree. Just as a quick reference before I hang it on the tree, here it is without her hat on. The hat is quite big and not specifically made for this LPS. So I took it off just to see how it would look. And to be honest, I kind of like it without the hat. This way you can see a lot more of the flowers hanging down and it's not as crowded. So I think I'm going to leave the hat off, but everything fits perfectly. She's standing up straight. And like I said, because I'm not gluing the LBS down, I can switch it out with other LBS anytime I want. But it is finally time to hang it up. So let's go.
so guys there you have it my LBS bauble for Christmas I am so so happy with how this turned out and for once I actually DIY'd everything like usually I kind of cheat a little and use like pre-made stuff but this time it was full-on DIY and I'm so happy with how this turned out i absolutely love that you can see the flowers peeking through the top like a little bouquet and i love how the glitter turned out on top as well i just think it, it turned out really good like not to pat myself on the back but i'm really proud of this so please do let me know what you think of my lps bubble in the comments down below and let me know if you're maybe going to try and make your own i know it's quite close to christmas right now but you still definitely have time this took me um like half a day to do so it's not a long process the longest part is honestly waiting for the glue to dry so if you stick it in front of like a fan or something you can definitely speed up the process but that is about all for this video i am just like this is my favorite thing now honestly <laughs> So I'm definitely going to hang this on my tree. You guys have already seen what it looks like on my tree. I think it looked pretty good with all of the lights that we have on our tree. It matched really nicely. So uh, that's about all. I do have two more Christmas videos planned which are coming very soon. Of course it's almost Christmas so like I need to get those videos posted. But I hope you'll look forward to them and I hope you enjoyed this video like always. So if you did, don't forget to like, comment, and of course subscribe. And I will see you next time. <laughs> Bye guys.